I have opened a small Python project in my Visual Studio code. As you can see here, in this main.py, we have just one line of code. And I have a requirements.txt here with one requirement. So now I will create a new Python virtual environment and install these requirements in that environment. So let's see how we can do it. First of all, if you look down here, you will see this Python 3.11. That is, this is the global Python directory. And this is not an environment. If you see an option that says add interpreter here, it's fine. We will see how to add Python environment in both the cases. Okay, so to add Python virtual environment, we need to open command palette first. So, so the shortcut is Control Shift P, and this command palette will open. Now, as you can see here, I am being shown create environment as it was recently used. In your case, it will be down somewhere, but you can just type it to search it. So type Python create, and as you can see, create environment option is appearing. Now click on this. And you get two options. So click on this first one uh, that shows create a VENV using VENV. Now click on this. And now I have two Python installations in my PC that is 3.11 and 3.10. And if you have only one Python installation, you will see only one version. So click on anyone that you want to use. So I'll click on 3.11. And as you can see, since I already have requirements.txt here, it will give me an option to install this after creating the virtual environment. So I just check this and click OK. And as you can see, my Python virtual environment is being created. And the folder is already here. And after the virtual environment is created, all the packages in requirements.txt will be installed. So as you can see, after the virtual environment is successfully created, my environment here is changed. It was showing 3.11 that was from global and now it is being used from VENV. So if you want to change to some other virtual environment or some other Python distribution, you can just click on this and choose from the available options here. So this is how you can create virtual environment and activate and install requirements in that virtual environment. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.